out your essay packet. I got one too. All right, so essential essay tips by Mr. Collins. So I wrote this last year. You guys are going to have your senior research paper. Have you heard of it? Yeah. yeah. You've heard of it? It's 10 to 20 pages. It's a big thing. That's why we do citations now so that you're friendly with them before we start them for the senior research paper. Last year, I taught British literature with the seniors, and they wrote a first draft of senior papers, and they were all really bad. So I looked at all of the things that they were having trouble with, and I put them into this collection of essay tips. And then I added a few things that would just help them out along the way. So this is all stuff that you can use when you're writing your senior research paper. So it'll be useful for this class, because we're going to use it, and you need to hold on to it. But if you want to hold on to it beyond this year, it'll also be useful next year when you're writing your senior research paper. So that explains where this came from. All right. So we're just going to be looking at pages 1 to 5 in this packet. There's about 18 pages in all. We're not messing with all of those. That gets into a lot of different stuff. Maybe we'll work through most of them throughout the year. But today, it's just 1 to 5. Page 1 is actually this first page, Essential Essay Tips. So it's the cover page. So we're just looking at 1 to 5, so don't worry about how big it is. We're focusing on writing a good essay. You guys have written essays since middle school? Middle school? Yeah. Middle school. Middle school. Okay. So you, you know how to write an essay. We're going to talk about writing a good essay and what makes an essay good. And writing a good essay is like making a good waffle. Anyone made waffles before? Yes. Yeah. How, did you use Bisquick or Ego, or did you go from scratch? No, you go from scratch. You go, go from, from scratch? Bisquick. Okay, Bis Bisquick. That's yeah, like halfway there. Uh, it's kind of like spark noting your essay. Yeah. Or, I don't know, whatever they do for that. But we're going to make essays and waffles from scratch in this class. So it's like making a good waffle. Ingredients for an essay, the things that go into an essay, just to recap this so that we know what we're talking about as we go. What's an introduction, someone? I get the reader interested in. Gets the reader interested? It's the hook. It's the hook? What else is in an introduction? It tells what the essay is going to be about. It tells what the essay is going to be about. What's the thesis? What the essay is about. It's the main point. It's the main point, yeah. Yeah, it's the main point of your essay. It's an argument. The term essay comes from a French guy named Montaigne in about, I think, 1500. He said, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try to make an argument. I'm going to try to explain something. And in French, the word for essay, for, for to try, is this. It's essayer, or essay. So an essay is a try. It's a try making an argument. It's a try at explaining something. And that's all it really is. The thesis is that argument that you're going to be making. So that's what the thesis is. What's the body? The main, the, the, main part of the argument. The middle part of the essay. Yeah, it's the middle it's part, it's the argument, it's, it's what it's the meat of the essay. Yeah, it's the meat, yeah, if this is a cow, it's the meat, it's not the milk part of the cow, it's the meat part. Uh, what is your evidence in an essay? What is evidence? Proof? Proof, facts, yeah. What else can you use as evidence? People, interviews, quotations. Quotations, yes. And then what's a transition? Like, the, and then also... And also, what, what does a transition do? It brings you to the wrap up. Mm -hmm. brings mm -hmm. you from one topic to another. One topic to another. It can wrap up. It can wrap one idea and lead into the next. But yeah, it takes idea one, idea two, and it makes you move smoothly between them. All right. Conclusions. What's your conclusion do? Summarize. Sum wrap Summarize. Wraps it up and involves your thesis. Okay. So you know these terms. So we're going to talk about those. You know them. We're good. All right, if you look at this packet, table of contents, that's the second page. First page, once you turn it up, once you open it up. We're just looking at pages four and five, really, today for content. These first few pages are just table of contents, title page, and then on the message. So the table of contents, only doing four and five. If you need other information for other classes or for that senior research paper with this packet, you can look in the table of contents and see where different topics are. So that's just to help you navigate this big packet. The other thing that's in there to help you navigate this packet is this hot tips section. Anyone eaten at a Mexican or Asian restaurant? Yeah. What are the chilies for on the menu? If it's can come in spicy. But it's spicy. It's hot. So these are hot tips. If there is one red pepper next to something, that means it's a good thing. You should pay attention. 
If it's two, it's like, ooh, that's really good. And three is something major, something that's really important. So pay attention to those. And I use these throughout because I know that there's a lot of information on each page. And if you've got to focus on a few points, you can focus on those ones. Those are really important. That's the table of contents. Next piece. Don't panic. It's important what you're doing. Don't freak out if you've got to do an essay. You can sit down, figure out what you want to say, do an outline, gather information. Not panicking is different from not working under pressure. Some people work best under pressure. My cousin in college would save uh, writing an essay, like a 20-page essay for a class, until about two or three days before it was due. And then she would be very stressed and typing for 15 hours. It's not a recommended way to do things. It's what worked well for her. But she wasn't panicking. She was just under pressure. Once she got that pressure, she'd say, OK, now I can focus. Now I can do this. And that's fine, because she got the work done. She'd get the essays written. But you don't want to panic. You don't want to freak out and get all concerned and not actually do productive work. So don't panic on writing an essay. If you feel like you're going to panic, ask someone for help. All right, that's page three. Page four and five, that's where we really get into stuff. So this is essay writing as exemplified through the process of making waffles. So getting started, if you look at page four, it says getting started. And then there's one zero, it says consider your audience. And up here, the pieces are written down in your essay, but up here I'm going to kind of recap them and paraphrase them as it relates to waffle making. So we're not going to go through point by point and read the essay piece and then look at this piece. I'm just going to talk about the stuff up here and explain it. Later on, you can return to this stuff and read it and take it in and you'll understand it better because you'll think of waffles and you'll think of essays and then this will all make a lot of sense. So consider your audience. You can assume that your audience knows what a waffle is and how to eat them. If you can't assume that, then you're really stuck. You don't have time to explain to people how to eat. You don't have time to go over the history of waffles. Same thing with an essay. You can assume they know how to read. If you're doing an essay that talks about a book, you can assume they read and know the whole book, but you know more about it. You have a deeper understanding. And so you're going to take their knowledge and bring them to that deeper understanding. So you can assume they know how to read, that they've read what you're talking about, and they got the basic ideas, but that you know more than them and are going to take them to that other level. Second thing, if there's any really bizarre ingredients, you want to explain what they are. Uh, so if you're using something in a recipe and you don't know what it is, you want to know what it is before you start throwing it into your food. You want to know how it will interact with the other ingredients. Same with writing an essay. If you've got a big word or term or idea that you think your audience won't know, then it's okay to define it. You can explain what it is. But you don't want to define a word if you don't know if like, your audience is going to know what it is. Uh, a good example would be the term mad. If you want to say, she was really mad, but you want to mean crazy instead of upset. So you say, she went mad, meaning crazy, not simply upset. So you can explain things then. But if your audience knows what it is, you don't have to explain it. All right, getting started. Second part, creating an outline. An outline is like the recipe. You guys got the recipe. You have that out? Yeah. I do. OK. <clears throat> We got the recipe. The outline is like the recipe. It's got the things you're going to be putting into it. It's going to be what you're going to do with them. And then you take this, this outline, this recipe, and you make your essay or you make your waffle based on that. But this is all the information you need. So outline. It's like your recipe. So you want to look at the recipe and make sure you've got all the ingredients before you start. I know I've got all the ingredients because I packed them up beforehand. But from experience, I can tell you that it stinks if you're going to make something and then you don't have like something important like eggs. Uh, if you get your eggs, you're in trouble. If you don't have flour, you're in trouble. So you want to make sure that you've got all that stuff. And so I've got all that stuff right here. I'm going to put it out. All right. So we've got all this stuff. we got enough of it. Smaller. Okay, let's see. Here we go. That can go there. That can go there. So I've got all of my ingredients. I can go down here for now. All right, so there's my ingredients.